Welcome back to Level Headed Gamer, guys. My name is Joseph. And right after beating Cyberpunk, I asked myself the question Which game is better, Do Sex or Cyberpunk 2077? So, after religiously playing Cyberpunk 2077 for the past week, I finally beaten it. And Jesus Christ, was that game fun. But I couldn't stop making the comparisons to Which game is better, Do Sex or Cyberpunk? So, I tried to make a list of three things I think Do Sex did better. And three things I think Cyberpunk did better. Let's start with Dusex Mankind Divided. The fact that you can get to see a character a lot more often. In Cyberpunk is what? It's a one cut scene when you see yourself in the mirror or reflection or you go into an inventory. That's about the only time you're going to get to see a character. Whereas Dusex keeps reinforcing what your character looks like. When you go behind cover, when you're changing cover to cover. You get to see your character, you get to see what it looks like and all the movements of the character, which just makes you feel really cool. Not to mention executions. Do we even have to talk about that? Cyberpunk's executions are like 2000 era, whereas in due sex, they look really cool. Whether you be stabbing them with a blade or you just, you know, punching them in the face and flipping them over. It just looks really, really cool, like a, like a cinematic movie. And even when you jump down from a building, you would have this Icarus fall right you would slow yourself down with the propulsion system which i would just jump off high places just to do that and at the same time during cutscenes you were able to see a character and i thought that was just in general a very cool way to show what your character is doing and get to see character at the same time the second thing i thought do sex mankind divided has done better were the augments in cyberpunk the augmentations are more stats based right you, know, you do have the mantis blade and you do have uh, the launcher and a couple other augmentations that actually change the way your character behaves but for the most part they're all stats based whereas in due sex i mean everything was somehow visually represented whether you were able to collapse walls and just pull enemies through the wall or just break down the wall to create yourself on a different path you had cloaking devices you had the rhino dermal armor which was like this kind of metallic black look to your character that you were able to do. Typhoon was probably the coolest power you can do with that animation where he just throws the grenades from his elbows and spins around. I thought just the augmentation, augmentations in general, especially in the cyberpunk genre where you're augmenting your character, they were visually a lot better represented. It wasn't just numbers on the paper. The third thing I thought Do Sex Mankind Divided did better was stealth. I thought it was more developed. I mean, as a stealth game fanatic myself, Metal Gear Solid being my favorite game of all time, I always like approaching things from stealth. And I found myself in Cyberpunk actually not doing stealth at all, for the, for the exception of a couple missions, just because it wasn't as fun. In Mankind Divided, I mean, you were able to climb into air ducts. You would have stealth camouflage. Silenced weapons were actually useful. You were able to take out people with headshots. You know, uh, in this game, uh, in Cyberpunk, it's a lot more stats based, so you'd have to have a powerful gun to be able to take somebody out with a silenced weapon. Not to mention, the levels themselves, or the areas where you would have the main confrontations, had a lot more diverging paths as a stealth player for you to navigate and kind of explore. Whereas Deuce X favored more begin with stealth and then go into action. Moving on to Cyberpunk, we have to talk about Cyberpunk as a much better realized world. Presentation in Cyberpunk is top notch. We know it had a bigger budget than do sex, but still you can't deny that the city feels alive. There's people walking around. It structurally feels like a real city that you could have been in. It almost feels like Dread, the movie in 2000, I believe, what was it, 10, I think, when it came out. But it felt like you were in dread in that world and you believed it was felt very tangible in comparison to Deuce X. And it was a truly open world. You can explore from beginning to end in this huge world, whereas Deuce X just had hubs. And it was a lot more limited and your interaction with the world was a lot more limited. Not to mention the side quests in Cyberpunk were first of all more plentiful and they were more meaningful. Uh, they first of all affected your direct ending on the game especially if you do certain kinds of quests with certain people come to help you and they won't help you or they be there in the end for you and affected the overall story whereas in deus ex mankind divided they're just side stories 
that you just one and done and never come back to. The second thing I thought Cyberpunk did better, and I'm just going to say flat out, I don't think anybody's going to argue with this, is the gunplay is way better in Cyberpunk than it is in Deus Ex. Deus Ex in general favors stealth and conversation rather than action. You were always rewarded more for doing stealth than you were for just gunplay. Whereas in Cyberpunk, first of all, to my surprise, the gunplay felt weighty and it felt good. I would even say so far as in the action RPG shooting genre, it probably has one of the best combat uh, gunplay in general. Like Fallout doesn't compare. Uh, Borderlands, I think this actually feels better than Borderlands, in my opinion. And it had better variation of weapons than Deus Ex did. It had smart guns, it had ricochet guns, you had melee, swords, you had cyber weapons. You had so much more variety to play with. And not to mention, the loot itself just feels way better. You, you're able to get higher tiers of guns. You had unique guns like that uh, Flippy. The Flippy, the gun that talks to you in Cyberpunk. There's just so much more variation in Cyberpunk than there is in Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Where there it felt, you felt the budget of the game and it was a lot more humble in its approach to even gunplay. And focus on what they knew how to do well, stealth. The last thing Cyberpunk did really well, I thought was hacking. I thought hacking is just so much more fun than it is in Deus Ex. In Deus Ex, it's a chore. And those nodes, dear god, I don't know if anybody likes doing the node, uh, capturing the nodes to hack something. It was just stressful and not fun very at all. I never got the point of it in the first place. And not to mention, in Cyberpunk, hacking has more variety to it. It could be hacking computers, whether they be hacking other characters, or you want to burn out their brain, or you want to blind them, have them come towards you. You were able to hack turrets. It's just, in general, well, you're able to hack turrets in Deus Ex as well, but in general, it's just, it was more fun, the variety you were able to implement in Cyberpunk versus Deus Ex. And it, it was more useful in moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. Whether you're in the action sequence or in a stealth sequence, they both were useful in their own way. That's I mean, I mean, there's a whole skill tree dedicated to hacking, whereas Deus Sex is just a lot more limited in that sense. And I'm, I'm gonna say it, it's just plain more fun. I think hacking Cyberpunk is just plain more fun, and it fulfills that fantasy of being able to hack into somebody else, or just having that Terminator scope that comes over, the red scope that comes over, where in Deus Sex, it just feels... Again, very old in its design. There you go, guys. And these are the three things I thought that Deus Ex did right, and three things that I thought Cyberpunk did right. But at the end of the day, they're both great games. And they're both games I would recommend to anybody who's, in the, who's into the Cyberpunk genre. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like down below. Leave a comment, which one do you like? Do you like Cyberpunk more, or do you like Deus Ex more? Obviously, we know the technical issues of Cyberpunk. We're just talking about the content and hopefully that it gets patched up soon because it's getting a little ridiculous. Even on PC, I had some immersion breaking bugs, so to say. But not to delay this anymore, guys. You have a good one.